Oh, I did not plan that. Hey everyone, it's Kat and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to go over some June favorites. Yes, I have collectively gathered up all my things that I've reviewed over the last month and I can't wait to dive into it with you. I'm over 50 years old and I love skincare and makeup and I can't wait to share my June favorites with you. So in case you're interested, then keep on watching. <laughs> Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to Cat's Eye Beauty. And if you're new here, thanks so much for stopping by. Please consider subscribing. I would love it if you would be a part of my family. Okay, I can't believe it's already July. Where is the summer going? We're literally over halfway through 2020. How's it been for you so far? Yes, it's definitely been a challenging year. Lots of changes, lots of strange stuff going on, but I hope I can take your mind off your day or your year, even just for a few minutes. I'm excited because I tested everything from foundation to lip gloss and even tried a few things that were new that's not exactly makeup related, but maybe you would enjoy them too. So let's get started. The first product that I absolutely love that I tested out in June was the L'Oreal Age Perfect Radiant Serum Foundation with SPF 50. Oh my God. I have been loving this foundation. I've been wearing it consistently every single day since I've tested it. I can't get away from it. With the fact that it has an SPF of 50, it's perfect for the summertime. It gives such a beautiful luminous glow. It provides medium to full coverage. It blends so seamlessly into my complexion. I think this is not just a June favorite. I think this is a favorite period. I mean, this is drugstore. It's easily accessible. It provides beautiful coverage. It provides SPF 50. So it's a win-win foundation. So this is definitely one of my June favorites. Now let's talk bronzer. I have to give it to Charlotte Tilbury. The Charlotte Tilbury airbrush bronzer is beautiful. It comes in four shades and it has such a beautiful buttery formula. Now I got the shade medium and I found that it just offers a beautiful sun-kissed look. It also blurs my pores, my 53 year old pores, but it comes in such an elegant case it reminds me so much of an Art Deco shell. It's just old Hollywood glamour, beautiful. Is it pricey? Is it worth it? Yes, it's $55, I think. What I love about this bronzer is not only you can contour with it and give yourself a sun-kissed look, I have been using it religiously every single day as a transitional shade for my eyeshadow. Super easy to blend in. It offers such a beautiful sun-kissed glow and Come on, you cannot beat the packaging of Charlotte Tilbury's new airbrush bronzer. Solidly one of my all time favorites and I will be using it throughout the summer. But yes, that is another June favorite of mine. Time for some smoothie. Okay, you're probably thinking, what in the heck are you drinking? I know, it matches my shirt. This is actually one of my favorite go-to smoothies. Matt, my husband, actually brought it home for me and I was like, oh my God, what is that stuff? It looked really strange. It comes from Bolt House Farms and this is what it looks like. It's called their Green Goodness and it has kiwi in it, pineapple, mangoes, bananas, and one and a half apples. I find that when I don't have the time to actually eat a piece of fruit, then I just grab my smoothie and I'm good to go. It makes me feel so much better. I don't know if it's mental, delicious. It looks really off-putting, but don't let it scare you. It's super good. It also has other ingredients like spirulina, wheatgrass, and garlic, but it tastes fantastic. It's sweet, but it doesn't have any added sugar. So this is one of my all-time favorite summer smoothies. Thanks, Matt, for recommending it to me. <laughs> Let's move on to sunscreen. My friend recommended the Ocean Potion Sunscreen SPF 50. Oh my gosh, on the 4th of July, I went to a pool party and I used this for the first time and I absolutely loved A, how it smells. It has such a unique, clean, beachy smell. Not your typical coconut smell. It is oxybenzone free, reef friendly, which I love. It's a mineral sunscreen, it has no added parabens or gluten with sea plants and antioxidants. But as you can see, you get a huge amount. It is 6.3 fluid ounces. And I got this at TJ Maxx for $3.99. It's kind of thick, as you can see, as you rub it in, 
but oh my gosh, it made my legs and my arms so soft. I could feel it all throughout the day. It felt so moisturizing, but I could feel it was protecting me because I did not burn and I was out in the sun for several hours, did not get any sunburn. You see that? But you see, it just goes on, glides on really smoothly. Now you do have to reapply it every 80 minutes and it is waterproof, but I'm absolutely loving the Ocean Potion Sunscreen SPF 50 and it smells so good. So Beth, thanks for recommending that to me. I appreciate it. Another one of my favorites from the month of June was the Kiko Milano 3-in-1 Stick. This has literally saved me. This is a beautiful blush. You can put it on your eyes and you can use it as a lipstick. I just found the shade so beautiful. Uh. But it comes, I believe it comes in three shades, but I did a review on the Kiko Milano Tuscan Sunshine Foundation, as well as their three-in-one stick and a lip gloss. But this was a huge standout. It's such a beautiful creamy blush formula. It's super easy to tap in and blend out, but that's exactly what I'm wearing right now. And for a sheer wash of color, it's so easy just to tap on and just tap it onto your eyelid for a sheer wash of color. But just look at this beautiful pigment right through here. It's such a gorgeous color and then you just tap it in and it blends so effortlessly. But since it's 3 in 1, it's perfect for traveling if you just want to grab this, use it as a lipstick, blush, and eyeshadow. But absolutely love the Kiko Milano 3 in 1 stick. Let's talk eyelashes. I didn't review any new mascaras in the month of June. I don't think. Did I? I don't think so. I wanted to share with you what I've been using on my eyelashes. Now, I used to have super short, skimpy, dry, brittle eyelashes. And I actually won this in a giveaway from Just Nina. In the package, it was kind of like a hodgepodge of different beauty items, but in the package, she gifted me new lash serum. I don't know if you've ever heard about this, but I was really skeptical about lash serums. And when I Googled it and saw how much it costs, I freaked out. This retails for $150. I don't know how she got it. She's really good at getting free stuff. I don't know how she does it, but Nina, I don't know how you do it, but thank you for sending me this. It is a lash serum and I started using it back at the end of April. And I was skeptical at first and it took about three or four weeks till I started noticing any sort of real significant growth. And oh my gosh, it's like, look at my eyelashes. They have certainly grown. They're super long. Applying mascara has become literally a dream because I actually have eyelashes. Now, how do you use the new lash? You simply just take this out and you just put a tiny, tiny bit on your eyelash band, like literally like you're putting on eyeliner. And this is what you do before you go to bed. And curiously enough, did you know that Vaseline, you know that petroleum jelly, you can actually use petroleum jelly. It will moisturize and condition your short, brittle eyelashes. Now the best way to apply Vaseline is to put it on a clean mascara wand and just brush it through your eyelashes before you go to bed. I have never tried that. I might try that in the future and let you know how it goes because I certainly can't afford $150 to get this. I know this is super expensive, but if I had known this was gonna work as well as it does, I mean, I would probably part with $150 to get these long eyelashes. I mean, look, it's ridiculous how long they are. I can't believe it. This is New Lash Lash Enhancing Serum. You can order this off of Amazon as well as Macy's, but definitely worth your time if you're looking for something to really enhance your eyelashes. I mean, the proof is in the pudding. Can you see that? Let's talk eyeshadow. Now, I did a lot of reviews on different eyeshadows. I mean, I am loving the e.l.f. Bite Size Crush eyeshadow palettes, the mini palettes, but I have to, I have to give it to Ofra Man. The Summer Edit Pro Palette is stunning. I just did a review on it. In case you missed it, I will put the link up there so you can check it out. But I actually won this in a Facebook chat. And as you can see, it is a 20 pan eyeshadow palette. Stunning colors wonderful pigment, super easy to blend. I'm actually wearing this eyeshadow palette right now. And for eyeliner, I just went in with this super deep dark brown that I put on a Morphe brush and just created 
eyeliner, if you will. If you love warm, coppery neutrals, this is right up your alley. I can see myself pulling from this eyeshadow palette every single day because the possibilities are endless. It's such a stunning, stunning color story. And you can use this carbon black for eyeliner, beautiful shimmers that just have such a punch, so beautiful. We all know that Ofra is great with pigment and gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Yes, it's huge. Yes, I know I love mini eyeshadow palettes, but this is a keeper, the Ofra Summer Edit Pro Palette. Let's talk about my favorite skincare product. Now, I have been testing out religiously and using Dermatology's skincare products, and I gotta hand it to them. The Tinted Moisturizer SPF 46 is beautiful. This is what I use as my daily moisturizer. It also is anti-aging. It has a beautiful tint to it, as you can see. And since it's so hot in the summertime now and humid here in Chattanooga, Tennessee, I like to go with a lighter moisturizer. And if it has an SPF, I am all for it. But as you can see, it has a light tint to it and it just melts into my complexion so beautifully and it just creates a beautiful luminous glow. So whatever I wear on top of my face, I have that luminosity peeking through. It provides just the perfect amount of moisturization and keeps my skin so soft and beautiful all day long. And knowing that I have SPF 46, it's just added peace of mind, especially now we're in summer. So absolutely love the Dermatology Tinted Moisturizer SPF 46. I also have new products from them that I've been testing out that I can't wait to share with you in a future video. So be on the lookout for that. Now let's talk lip gloss. Since it is summertime, I don't like to wear a heavy matte lipstick. So basically what I love to do is just run a lip gloss over my lips and I'm good to go. Today for the lipstick, I'm just wearing Slow Burn from Marc Jacobs. I didn't think I was gonna like it. I'm absolutely loving the NARS Ultimate Orgasm Lip Gloss. It is just such a beautiful formula. It has a sheer tint to it. And I like to pop it on either on bare lips or on top of a lip color just to give it a little pop. Oh, it's so pretty. You see how it just brightens and gives my lips a little pop? It just has a nice slick sheen to it and just a slight tint if you're wearing it over your bare lips. But I love popping it on top of any sort of lipstick just to give that liquid sheen look. But I think it's beautiful. This is the NARS Orgasm Lip Gloss. Absolutely love. But there you have it. Those are my June favorites. A little bit of everything from a smoothie to sunscreen to lip gloss. But I hope you enjoyed my June favorites. Leave a comment down below if you tested out a new product over the last couple of months and let me know exactly what it is. Or if you have a new smoothie flavor that I can try. I would love to hear your thoughts. And in case you haven't subscribed yet, please do. I would love it if you would be a part of my family. And for more reviews on makeup and skincare, check out these videos over here. But for now, mahal kita. I love you and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.